I guess it's time to embrace the warm springtime weather and make something very light. So I'm doing pan seared chicken cutlets without the breading. Keep the calorie down a little bit by using just some nice olive oil. Garlic salt, salt and pepper is gonna be just perfect for the chicken cutlets. If you pound them out yourselves and you buy chicken, boneless chicken on sale for $2.99, it really is a value dish. We're bringing in Boston bib lettuce. Boston lettuce is also known as butter lettuce and it's usually hydroponic and it's delicious and light. Use it for lettuce wraps and things like that. We're gonna bring it along with some toasted fennel seed, make a butternut, excuse me, a buttermilk sour cream dressing to go with it, and just some fresh fennel and crunchy vegetables that bring it all together with croutons. It will be a delicious dish, whether you're heading down to Turtle Beach to watch sunset or just sitting outside with a glass of iced tea tonight. I'll be back in just a few minutes to get started. So let's try to contain this today. And these are also ingredients that could be donated. Again, chicken cutlets, <coughs> excuse me, allergies, seasoned with garlic salt, fresh ground black pepper, and sea salt, little bit of olive oil, not too much. You only need tops two tablespoons for three giant cutlets, and you can even cut the cutlets in half. Now, I showed you the butter lettuce. A couple things I want to do now. I want to get the fennel seed. What I do is I just press on my knife, on the back of my French knife, and then I just give it a little dice, and that expresses the extra flavor, and you want really good flavor with fennel. So we're ready to go with the fennel seeds. They're gonna go in with a cup of mayonnaise. I only use Hellman's or Duke's. Don't want you to use anything that has a lot of sugar content in it, like a Miracle Whip. It just doesn't work with this. So then we're gonna take a half a cup of sour cream, and a half a cup of buttermilk. Now, this dressing is so delicious, but it can also serve as a marinade for your chicken cutlets. So you could put the cutlets overnight in a bag in this dressing and then rinse them off and pat them dry very well. That's gonna hold in the moisture. I often keep chicken brining in buttermilk, seasoned buttermilk for 24 hours. So, so far, we have the sour cream, the buttermilk, and the mayonnaise. Let's give it a little squeeze of orange. I don't have it written on the recipe, but I often will bring out something bright and flavorful, especially now that we're in this springtime heat. It's gonna be good. Little bit of minced garlic. And then let's come over here. I have some Italian seasoning that we're gonna put in there as well. Give it a taste. It's probably going to need some salt and pepper, so we'll make sure we add that. And we have some fresh parsley. You can either use the fresh Italian parsley directly on the lettuces and fresh watercress, or we can give it a really nice rough chop and add it right into the dressing, which is going to be really good. Dressing needs to sit in the fridge about six hours, but it can sit up to three days in your refrigerator. So that makes it really easy as well. When you come back, Let's take the other components and layer it all together for this lovely springtime light supper dish. Now, to the dressing that we already made that I told you you could make a few days in advance, we're going to add a little red wine vinegar and white wine vinegar, just a splash, about a tablespoon of each or so. Give it a little tang, and it'll still be the creamy with the mayo and the sour cream and the buttermilk dressing, so you have that extra tang, and then it all sits together smooths out with the fennel seed. So, I have a chicken cutlet done, two more on the way. You do want to remove them from the pan. These were a little thicker, so I just layered them up. By the time we get to them, it'll be perfect. So a little butter leaf on the side and an orange slice because I always like an extra squeeze of some type of fresh citrus. Now we have fresh sliced fennel, some yellow pepper, some red pepper, and again, watercress, which the springtime watercress is just coming out and really nice and light and bright and no calories, even best. So what I do is I just put a little dressing around. You don't have to use a lot of dressing. And then just like a restaurant, you just put a little dot on the side of it. That's so somebody can grab a little bit more with their fork and swirl it around. Some browned pancetta, which I love that salty Italian bacon flavoring. 
and it just kind of brings it up a le level. I love like a grilled chicken sandwich with bacon and lettuce and all that. So an easy way for croutons is just to buy the garlic toasted rounds and then you can just cut them in half or break them with your finger or make homemade croutons. I never like to really use the box ones. And we'll just sprinkle those around a little bit. And then one more layer to go of a little bit of dressing, a little more fennel, and we'll stick in some cucumbers so that coolness is going to be so good with the freshness of everything. Very bright salad. I say you eat with your eyes more than anything, so we have nailed it. Let's get a little more watercress on our layers and you could do a turkey cutlet, you can do steak tips, you can do salmon. That's what I love about a salad like this. There's so much different things that you can do and we are ready, I think, to have the first official record-breaking heat meal of a beautiful fresh salad. We'll be back in just a few minutes to have a taste. Yum, yum. Healthy eating, Judy. Healthy yeah, eating, right? Yeah, and light and cool and mm. refreshing oh. for this hot weather, mm -hmm. right? Tell us what you've done again. So, I just made a standard mm. chicken cutlet, seared it with a little olive oil and seasoning, topped it with that beautiful Boston lettuce, or otherwise known as butter lettuce, watercress parsley, homemade buttermilk dressing mm. with toasted fennel seeds, Italian seasoning and of course, great garlicky croutons, a little orange, boom, bright, fresh, and ready to go for Sarasota and Manatee Counties. I have to say that butternut buttermilk dressing is awfully good. Good. Recipe on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining link button. It'll take you right there with Chef Judy's video instructions. Judy, thanks much. Thank you.